Crafting is without a doubt an integral part of Minecraft. I mean, it's half the game's title, technically over half the game's title, and much like many other parts of the game, it's not perfect. Of course, you can't expect it to be perfect, but it's fun to think about how things could be improved. And to make something clear, I'm talking about more than just the crafting table when it comes to crafting. I would say that crafting is the entire mechanic of taking some blocks and items and making other blocks and items. Anyways, a crafting themed update is something that I started thinking about when the crafter was introduced, which is a redstone block that can automate crafting, along with actually playing the game and remembering that fletching tables are still useless and that brewing stands still, for some reason, don't have a recipe book. I have some ideas on how things could be added and changed, and if you're anything like me, your reaction to a lot of these will probably be why isn't this in the game? So let's begin. Let's start things off small. One thing that you might regularly see people ask for is for recipes to be added to items without a recipe. And I'm not talking about things like spawners or totems, I mean things like horse armor. Because at the moment, the only tier of horse armor that's craftable, for some reason, is leather. Yeah, the uh, one tier of the horse armor made out of the same thing that horses drop. How about name tags? The lack of a recipe has personally always confused me. It's such a simple item, but if you want it, you need to trade, fish, or find in loot chests. And for some reason, the same thing goes for saddles. It just feels so random to not have a recipe for these. Now, this isn't really as much of an issue in modern Minecraft as it used to be, so this isn't really needed. But why are these items almost on the same level as music discs and not leads? An item in the game which most of you don't even obtain from crafting, but still has a recipe. Okay, well, I guess whenever it was added, crafting was really the only method of getting them but you can see where I'm getting at, right? Mojang could also just update existing recipes. One that I've seen requested a ton since 1.17 released was changing the recipe for powered rails to use copper instead of gold. Gold is very clearly just a placeholder here for something else, as well as this would just make more sense for copper. Copper conducts electricity, this would give more of a use to copper, and I think this would get more people to build railways again. Maybe not like how they did back in the day when it was literally the fastest transportation method, especially because it's just normal to speedrun an elytra now, and if not that, people just use horses and camels now. I just really liked it when people had interconnected railways like this, it just looks so cool. And speaking of giving items more uses, I think it would be nice if some of the stone based recipes could use the other different types of stones in those recipes. Of course this wouldn't be for every stone based block, but if deep slate can be used to craft a furnace and the furnace still looks like this, I don't see why this couldn't apply to more blocks and items. Admittedly this is mostly just because I want to use diorite, andesite, and granite in making stone tools, but at least these items would actually get a use. Granite is like used with bricks and that's kind of it. While I did mention some that it doesn't have, the Vanilla Tweaks website actually has some pretty nice data packs with crafting changes that I would love to see in the game. Things like Straight to Shapeless, which turns a crafting recipe for bread, paper, and shulker boxes into being shapeless. This is mostly just so that you can make them in your inventory and not need to use a crafting table, but whatever. Enough about minor changes, let's talk about the bigger changes that Mojang could make. Of course, with how important crafting is, this wouldn't be the first time that it would see a significant update. 1.14, the Village and Pillage update, could also be considered in some ways a crafting update as it actually overhauled some crafting systems. The most notable examples were the Lumen Cartography table, which both completely revamped the systems for decorating banners and working with maps, which was a major improvement compared to how they worked before. The Grindstone was technically a revamp of the old disenchanting and repairing system, while everything else was just a new way of making certain items. However, there were two new blocks introduced in this update that didn't actually have any functionality outside of villagers at the time of the release, but they were promised to get functionality in the future. The first is the smithing table, which didn't see use until 1.16 with the introduction of netherite and then a revamp in 1.20 with smithing templates. The second block in, yeah you already know what it is, the fletching table, a block that still hasn't received any functionality in the four years it's been in the game, except for an odd feature where right clicking it in spectator mode has the crafting table UI appear for a split second. It's pretty Pretty clear that this should be some sort of arrow crafting block, like this being the new place for making tipped arrows and spectral arrows, which would mean that spectral arrows would finally be added to Bedrock Edition, but would that be it? I think it's pretty clear that whatever the fletching table does, it needs to be enough for players to actually use it in survival, otherwise what's the point of going through the effort of making the table do something? I say this because 
Would you actually use tipped arrows if the fletching table was the new block for making them? I've always thought of tipped arrows as more of an item for servers, especially because they're almost never used outside of that. The most that I've seen tipped arrows get used for in survival, mostly single player survival, is with weakness arrows that are infinitely reused in curing villagers. And the only other thing that I see in survival where they're used more than that is literally just strays. And even if there's more uses that I just can't think of, I don't think that many different types of tipped arrows are used. I seriously do not believe that a single person outside of the 300 million people who have bought this game have used a tipped arrow of night vision in survival. I have seen other ideas, mostly exploding arrows, but one interesting idea that I've seen is to be able to craft arrows with a different tip. I guess there's not really much customization you can make on an arrow, so this is really the most you'll get, and it's not a bad idea on paper. The original crafting recipe for arrows, aside from that one, was the same as it was now, but instead it used iron instead of flint, which probably explains why the tip of the arrow was white, or more of a light grey. Alongside that, the arrow texture has never been updated, not even in 1.14, so this is still the same arrow from whenever it was made from iron, which may be the inspiration for this, but Arrows are already pretty powerful, especially with a maxed out bow, so unless the regular arrow was nerfed, I can't see why many people would make a more expensive one. I guess the fletching table could customize bows as well, like customizing the look, or adding a scope. Look, I'm really trying. Whatever it is you have planned, Adrian, I really hope it's a great idea like you said, because it's been at least six major updates. Enough about the blocks, let's talk about the thing inside those blocks. The recipe book. Gone are the days of looking up a recipe on the Minecraft wiki, unless you haven't unlocked the recipe. The recipe book is here to make crafting more easier to understand, and also turn crafting for most people from this into this. And it's not just here for the crafting table, it also appears in the furnaces. I think that it's great that players don't need to leave the game and then go to a website to learn how to make something in the game anymore. So anyways, why isn't it there for brewing stands? It is incredibly ironic that the system that would probably make the most sense having a recipe book is the one without it, and I'm starting to think they just forgot. 1.12 added recipe books and 1.13 added recipe books to furnaces, but 1.13 also added a new potion, the potion of the turtle master, so it would have been a good time to add the green book right there. <clears throat> it's also been six years. A good idea of what this could look like can be found in the better recipe book mod, which does add a functional recipe book for brewing stands. Great job to the people who made this, but I think there are some ways that this could be improved. Okay, so the goal with recipe books is to make sure that the player 1 isn't confused, and 2 doesn't need to look up how to make an item, so assume that they know nothing. To better achieve this and to communicate as much to the player as possible, I think the recipe book should look more like an actual recipe book instead of just clicking on each step of making the potion one by one. So I think the only thing that should be listed here should be the different effects, and whenever you click on it, a graphic appears showing the ingredients needed in the order that they need to be added. Below are buttons to modify the potion, like increasing the time, increasing the strength of the potion, making it a splash potion, or making it a lingering potion. This is for two reasons. The first is to remove essentially the same potion from appearing multiple times in the tab for finding a recipe. This simplifies it to be easier to understand and gets straight to the point, since when you're making a potion, the main thing that you're probably thinking about is the effect. The second is to make the player feel like they're really making something. You clicked on the effect, now how do you want it? Also, this would remove the recipe buttons for making thick, mundane, or awkward potions since, once again, you're probably wanting one of these potions to be the potion you make, not just a step in the process that doesn't have an effect. Once again, this would lead to less confusion and people new to brewing wanting to know why these are listed if they don't do anything, and you already have to make them if you want to make the other potions. If someone really really wanted to make one of these potions, then that means they already know what that is, and so the recipe book wouldn't really help them. I think this system works better because, like I mentioned before, the player feels like they're really making something. When you manually put in each ingredient one by one, and even make your own changes to the recipe, you get to see how it comes together over time and what role each ingredient plays in making the potion, which you wouldn't really get from just clicking on potion icons and things being moved for you. I'm sure that this system isn't perfect and that there are some changes that could be made, but I feel like this is at least on the right track for getting a recipe book for brewing stands that would actually work. By the way, the better recipe book mod has some other nice changes, like pinning recipes, instant crafting, the ability to disable the recipe book, and the option to instantly have every recipe in the game. And I am shocked that a button for this in the settings still isn't in the game. Anyways, that was my list of crafting changes I'd like to see, which I imagine isn't everything that should be changed, so feel free to tell me in the comments. And while you do that, I'm going to play with this data pack that makes crafting super OP and then I'll get bored of in 5 minutes.
Uh, bye. 